back. Today we're doing a quick review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. I picked this foundation up about three months ago, I believe, maybe four months ago. But I started using it around, I think it was mid-January. No, maybe it was before that. I don't remember when I started using it, but I do remember that I loved it when I first applied it. And I kept using it every time I was going out, whenever I wanted to put on foundation, there was this was my ready to go foundation because I only had to apply a couple swipes and then blend it and that was it. I just it was really quick. With my other foundations, I have to clean my little palette, pump it in there or pump it in my hand, clean it off. This stick foundation is so handy for those that are always doing their makeup in a hurry like me I'm always in a hurry for everywhere I go if you guys know me by now like I am always in a hurry I do things last minute I am never on time and <laughs> it's bad it's, it's really bad but if I'm gonna do my makeup I'm always getting rushed by the net or I'm getting rushed by my family or I'm getting rushed by time because it is my go-to foundation because I only have to swipe like three little swipes swipe it everywhere and then blend it away it blends like a dream it applies like butter it blends beautifully it doesn't take a long time to actually get the foundation on so that is one of my pros for this foundation I have a couple of things that I wrote down that I want to talk to you guys about so the foundation is available in 30 shades they have a uh, highlighting contouring yeah highlighting and contouring sticks as well that you can use of course if you are um, lighter you can use a darker stick foundation it just depends on your preference but they do have a banana a banana stick and a banana shade stick and they have a deep uh, contouring one. so if you're looking for something to contour with I do recommend these uh, foundation sticks because they are very blendable the price is $25 each which is pretty pretty good it's not bad for a high-end foundation Usually for high-end foundations, you're looking at the 30, like, sometimes even $100 foundations. Uh, especially, I've seen that the Hourglass came out with a stick foundation and theirs is like $46, which is, again, you know, it's expected for high-end foundations. Um, so I really do like the price. Um, it doesn't have a lot of product, uh, if you guys can see. I have been using it, but it doesn't have a lot of product. It's pretty... What can I say? It doesn't have a lot of product. It has about, let me see how many ounces, 0 0.32 ounces on here, which, you know, it's less than one ounce that usually every foundation has. But, you know, you don't really need a lot for, like I said, you only need a couple swipes on your face and you can blend it out really nice. You can build it off for full coverage. Uh, but for me, I only apply about one layer all over. And then wherever I want to like conceal a little bit more like on my cheeks then I'll just give another swipe and then blend that away but I never go like I don't double on certain areas which I'm going to show you guys in a little clip um, another thing the packaging is very lightweight it's like this doesn't weigh anything it's like very lightweight it's very very good very handy if you're traveling for me sometimes I do my makeup in the car so I just throw this in my purse I'm not afraid that it's going to open up and spill everywhere because it is a stick foundation so it's very handy for traveling for putting it in your purse for touch-ups it's very good so <laughs> what else am I saying but that it's very good um, cons I've heard a lot of people saying that it's drying for me you guys know I have dry skin um, you can say combination skin because I have oily t-zone and then dry everywhere else um, but for me personally it hasn't clinked onto my dry patches which I have a couple it doesn't look patchy it doesn't look like I have like accentuated foundation it actually looks like I have pretty good skin like it kind of blends in you know, I know that I have foundation. People probably know that I have foundation, but it's not obvious. Like, you can't really see that it's, like, caked up or anything like that. And that's what is expected for a stick foundation, especially, like, back in the day. I remember, I don't know what brand had a stick foundation. I think it was Rimmel? I think it was Rimmel. I'm not, I don't remember. But there was a stick foundation, and 
they had like stick concealers and I remember those were really dry like really dry because I tried out a stick concealer and I remember like dragging my face because they were so dry these are not dry these are very creamy they're they blend away like I said very easily um, and for me personally it hasn't clung to my dry patches it actually looks pretty good um, maybe it has to do with what I do to like prep my skin before any foundation I have like a strictly prep thing that I do when I apply foundation I hydrate a lot because I know that I have dry skin so my regimen is like moisturizer facial spray like I have all this like small routine that I do before any foundation so for me this foundation is really good it feels like weight it doesn't feel heavy um, what else can I say about the foundation that I basically like everything I kind of wrote a couple stuff like I said um, another thing is that it claims to be demi matte for me uh, I can tell you that it's more of a satin finish for me um, I don't see that it's matte it doesn't like super mattify my face I still see like it's 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 pretty satin for me for me it's a satin finish uh, like I said it's buildable it's very lightweight and natural And there you go. It was that fast. Yes, that fast. That's about it. I don't have anything bad to say about the foundation except that um, it's. I was expecting an ounce. I want the ounce and the foundation. Um, but you know, you don't need a lot, so it's probably gonna last me about a good three months. I'll let you guys know when um, I finish the stick foundation, which I'm pretty sure it's gonna take me a while because I don't really wear a lot of foundation. I don't really wear a lot of makeup during the week. I just put it on sometimes, but like when I'm filming or I'm going out or I have time to actually do my foundation, then I apply all this shebang. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review. Please like if you found it helpful. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.